I'm Gloria, one of the Youth Services Librarians at North Riverside Public Library. I'm going to cook fettuccine alfredo today. Uh, you've probably seen it on menus in Italian restaurants. Um, it's very rich. Uh, it's very good. Uh, people usually think they can't make it themselves because it's complicated, but it is not. But the warning is that it is very rich and this is not a pasta dish you want to have every week. This is once in a while because, you know, it is rich. So I bo I'm boiling my pasta now. It's fettuccine, you can buy that. It's the thicker noodles. Um, you, you cook it al dente, which is still firm, um, but cooked. And about 10 minutes, 10, 11 minutes is what I cook it at. So that is done cooking now. I'm gonna shut it off. I have melted some butter. I cooked the whole pound. So the butter is for um, the whole pound and it's uh, about three quarters of a stick. And then I'm gonna add some whipped cream, whipping cream. See, I told you it was rich. So this is a pint. I'm gonna add about half of this. So let me show you what I'm adding here. Um, I don't do a lot of measuring. I just sort of eyeball things. By the way, I wash my hands because um, I always use my hands when I cook. So I've already washed them. Yeah, maybe a little less than half of the pint. So then I'm going to put it on my stove. You don't want to boil it. Um, you just want to kind of heat it up because this is what's going to make your sauce. Very simple sauce. You put it on low. And I've got two dishes. I'm going to make um, one that is vegetarian and one that is regular. Uh, this sounds like a vegetarian meal, but for the really strict vegetarian, it isn't because we use authentic Parmesan cheese. And Parmesan cheese has rennet in it, and rennet is an animal byproduct. So um, you can buy Parmesan cheese that does not have rennet in it, but it's not as good as a traditional Parmesan. So I'm making half one way and half the other way. The only difference is going to be the cheese that I add. The sauce is the same. So um, I'm going to drain my pasta. And I've already cooked it. I cooked it about 11 minutes. And I'm going to drain it in the sink. Be very careful with hot water. As you probably know, uh, always pour away from yourself like this. The steam is very hot. One time, I never paid much attention to it, and I poured this way towards myself, and the steam came up and was burning me, and I went back and I dumped the water all down me. And boy, did that hurt. So, Always pour away from you. Okay, so that's poured and drained. It's, you have to do this kind of fast, mix the sauce because you want to melt the cheese and you want everything to go together. So this is steaming hot. I'm going to add my whipping cream and butter all in here. And I'm gonna make, um, okay, I, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Stir it up. And I'm going to take out what is not vegetarian because I'm gonna do the vegetarian first. So I'm gonna take out about half of this. I'm going to do the, um, the regular Parmesan last. So I'm going to take out about half after I put the sauce on already. About like that. Kind of eyeball it. And 
add a little bit of the uh, buttercream mixture. Okay, now I'm going to add, this is the vegetarian parmesan. I use my hands and add quite a bit because it's going to make the, um, the sauce stick on the fettuccine and ground pepper. When I was cooking the fettuccine, I put a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Some people use salt. Um, I use olive oil. And then you just um, toss it. And gently. You'll see when it coats nicely and when you have enough cheese. You won't be adding cheese at the table probably because there's enough cheese on it. Okay. What to do? Let me show you how it looks. Looks about like that. You can see it's very creamy. And I'm going to pour it in my dish. And while I fix the other one, I'm going to stick this in my oven so that it stays warm. And I'm going to put the second half back in my, my pan. And I'm going to add cheese again. This is the regular Parmesan cheese, which I like better. There's, there is a big difference in taste. so. Uh, if you're not a strict vegetarian, you want the regular, regular Parmesan. And I'm going to toss it again. I'm going to add a little bit of cream here because it's, I used, probably added more to the other one. So, add this. And more. And a little more cheese. And once again, some pepper, some ground pepper. It's an easy meal. Um, we have these, these ingredients on hand. Very easy. I always keep some fettuccine in my cabinet. And, um, butter and cream generally have. So easy to do. And it looks pretty much, both, both of these look pretty much the same. That's done too. Okay. So I'm going to pour this. In my other dish. And pop this in my oven. Okay, that's it. It's all ready. I made a salad ahead of time, and uh, I made some garlic bread, and so that's that's the meal. Uh, sometimes I serve it with uh, Italian sausage. You can find my recipe, Italian sausage Sinatra style, in our programming under More Than Cookies which is a video, um, same as this video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you try it. And um, don't be intimidated by it, but don't eat it every week. It's uh, got a lot of calories in it, a lot of fat. I'll see you next time. Enjoy. Bye-bye.